They said it couldn't be done. Let's see it's still going strong, but that's over now. This category is dead. As of November 17th, 2022, Chauncey can now be captured in one cycle. What do I mean by all this? Let's rewind back to the start. So what's a one cycle and how does it apply to Chauncey from Luigi's Mansion? If you haven't watched my video on Luigi's Mansion glitches, I go over what it means to two or one cycle a boss, which by the way, you should definitely go and check out. But for a brief explanation, a cycle in one of the Luigi's Mansion bosses goes as follows. The cycle starts once the boss begins their routine and ends after you can no longer continue giving damage to said boss. Back in 2020, runners managed to find a rather elaborate setup to one cycle King Boo. This made Chauncey the only ghost left in the game who could not be one cycled. For years, it was believed that Chauncey could only be captured in as low as two cycles. Obviously for speedruns, the fewer cycles the better, as you can clear the boss a lot quicker. It was estimated that a potential one cycle could save around 30 seconds, which for the run is huge. Some had speculated the possibility of a one cycle, but unlike King Boo where you can shoot multiple bombs at Bowser's head to keep King Boo out, you couldn't do the same for Chauncey as when throwing down his balls to hurt you, only one of them can be interacted with, so you can hit and then start capturing him. On top of this, given that the Hidden Mansion has a more powerful vacuum, runners over the years tried to see what the most amount of HP was that they could take off of Chauncey in the first cycle. In this mode, it seemed to be as low as 6 HP. Over the years, there were rumors of getting him down to 2 HP, however this seemed to be all talk and no proof. This was also the case with an early claim of obtaining a Chauncey 1 cycle, made by our own Space Grunge, who you may remember as doing the cover of the Luigi's Mansion theme on guitar from the Glitches video. Of course, this was done during a fun race years back and no footage was ever recorded. For the longest time, this was the most we had to work with. Fast forward to November 17th. While working on my next main video that I promise is coming out soon, I got a DM from another longtime friend Pike. He had messaged me with a video depicting Chauncey after his first cycle, while still having his heart showing. This isn't supposed to naturally occur, as after you break off of him, the heart will disappear. This was very odd, but it got me thinking, and hoping that there could be some potential new find, leading to the elusive one cycle. Wasting no time, I hop in the call with him, asking as many questions as I could think of that would help me formulate a plan. After trying for about 40 minutes with not a whole lot of direction, many attempts were made but unfortunately, not much was done. Not wanting to waste any more time and get back to work on content, I stopped for then but remained on the call, just making casual conversation. Some part of me didn't want to listen and wanted to push, to try and find anything. Pike said he noticed when this happened. Luigi had stopped for a split second, he heard one of Luigi's grunts, and then continued to suck him up right after. This brought what would have been a 40 HP first cycle down to 11 on normal mansion. Considering the vacuum isn't as powerful, it wasn't expected that this could have one cycled, but getting down to 11 on normal mansion seems unlikely for most players. Something was going on here. But what? And how is it that every time an answer was approaching, something was there to knock it down? But this time, it felt different. Somewhere, there was a glint of hope. Amongst that hope, I had hopped right back on the game and went at it some more. Then something weird happened. While vacuuming him, I noticed I quickly let go of and repressed R, and at the time I did that, some sparks flew from Luigi, but he continued moving for just a bit longer. Usually, sparks would fly from your vacuum on Chauncey if he breaks off. So what was this new thing? Pushing on, I had Pike join me in the Luigi's Mansion Discord server to try and test things out with other members of the community. I mentioned what happened, and they were thinking that this was Luigi letting go of and then grabbing onto Chauncey once more. Both Red and Saria from the community then made a suggestion of, what if you did this right around when Chauncey breaks off? Seeming like we were onto something, more attempts were put in, and then it happened. He forgot the secret sauce? No. He didn't wash his hands? No. Irregular portions? No! Oh my god, I got it! Oh my god! Oh my god! Dude! Did you watch cycle? I did! I did! After years and years of this merely being a pipe dream, a one cycle Chauncey was finally performed live, 
on recording and with an input display to boot, just so we knew exactly what was happening on the controller. The community was in disbelief. The thing that some people had stated was an impossibility was now a reality. This finally brought actual evidence of its existence, something that could have been compared to a Bigfoot sighting. This new find spread through the community like wildfire. All of a sudden, loads of people were gathering in the call, aiming to take a crack at this new strat. HD Lax would be the first person to recreate the one cycle. It would take a bit more time, but eventually, new first time one cycles were popping up left and right. It seemed that, also unlike the King Boo one cycle, more people were able to get this. Did that make this trick free? Of course not. Something that's weird about this strat is that it's essentially a frame perfect R pump, similar to the Boo R pump strat. However, you don't use a left trigger to quickly bounce back and forth between sucking and blowing. This animation of pulling the vacuum out is enough to interrupt Chauncey breaking off, along with Luigi resetting his positioning so that the vacuum stream can still hold on. Funny enough, the visual glitch with Chauncey's heart still showing was recreated as when you perform the re-grab but fail to finish him off, you can hold on to him for an extended period of time, even during his bouncing around the crib and attacks. It's been said that in order to actually get the one cycle though, Chauncey must be dragging Luigi while the art pump takes place, otherwise it won't happen. The time came to give this trick a name. Some were throwing around names combining Pike and myself, but overall people have been content calling it Chauncey one cycle. Oh shit, I don't think I can put that on YouTube. Since this trick is still pretty new, it can be a real pain trying to get it down. Very few have managed to keep good consistency, while others just seem to have a hard time. Timing had to be done to see exactly how much faster this new strategy would be, and it seems that it saves about 33 seconds over the old 2 cycle strat. But with speedrunners, there had to be competition, and thus people were flocking to different categories trying to take world records. Some were completed and world records were set, but there is still so much more potential for the main categories. In time, it could be likely more people will be able to get it. And who knows, maybe an even better setup could be found. Where does this leave the future of the game? As of right now, with an absolute perfect pace, a very high 53 minute time could just barely be achieved in the main any percent no out of bounds category. Likewise, a lower 7 minute time could be claimed for the any percent category involving out of bounds. Despite this making the first area of the game more reset heavy, my only wish for runners is that they find more consistency with the trick, as this does change up the game quite a bit. But with that being said, thank you everyone for watching this special, and I hope to look forward to what's to come very soon. Until then, take care, and peace.